GCSE Maths Grade 9 finding the equation of a tangent to a circle in just over three minutes. Let's go. This one has been so highly requested, guys. Let's have a look. It says calculate the equation of the tangent. And for those of you who don't know, that is going to be our orange line here. So in this question, we're given the equation of this circle, this green circle, x squared plus y squared equals 125. And then we're also given our point 0.510, which is both on the circle and on our tangent. How are we gonna find the equation of our tangent? We need to find two things. Firstly, we need to find the gradient of this tangent, and then we need to find the y-intercept. To find the gradient of our tangent, we're firstly going to draw a line from our origin, the point zero, zero, to the point which is on our tangent. And we're gonna find the gradient of that line. Now, why do we do that? We do that because the gradient of this line is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of our tangent. And that's because they are perpendicular lines. We can see that this line here and our tangent meet at a right angle. That means they are perpendicular. And that means that the gradient of the tangent is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of this line here. So how are we gonna find the gradient of this line here? Well, we know that this point zero, zero is on that line and that this point five, 10 is on that line. We can find the change in y and the change in x between 0, 0 and 5, 10, and that's going to allow us to find the gradient. We can do that the gradient equals the change in y divided by the change in x. Those little triangles just mean change. We can find the change in y. We go from 0 in the y direction to 10 in the y direction, so the change in y is going to be 10. And the change in x, we go from 0 in the x direction to 5 across in the x direction. So our change in x is going to be 5. So we can find our gradient, 10 over 5. 10 divided by 5 is going to be 2. Now we have the gradient of this line here. This is going to allow us to find the gradient of this tangent. It's going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of this line here. So we can say that the gradient of our line, so the gradient of the tangent, is equal to the negative reciprocal of two, which is gonna be negative one over two. The negative reciprocal, so it's negative and reciprocal just means we can take one over. Next, what are we gonna do? Well, we have the gradient of our tangent. Now we need to find the y-intercept. What we can do is we can write out the equation of our line in the form y equals mx plus c. We now have the gradient, so we have m, we have y equals minus a half x plus c. We don't know our y-intercept yet, but we can find it by substituting in this point, which we know is on the line. We know that when y is 10, x is equal to 5, so we can substitute both of these in and get an equation. What do we have? We have 10 equals minus a half times by 5 plus c. And I just missed off my minus in there. Let me throw it in. Now we can expand these brackets. Minus a half times by five. That's going to be minus 2.5. So 